Okay, hi, my name is Cory. I'm going to show you a fast setup for using the gameplay ability system in Unreal Engine 5. I'm just going to use the FPS template as an example. So to start out, we're going to want to open up the character class. So in this case, it's the first person character. We're going to add the ability system component under the components. Once we've done that, we're also going to add a variable to store our gameplay ability handles. Uh, this just makes it easier to access them later so that you're not running into an issue where you don't have the specific handle that was given to the player. Um, and make sure that you're selecting the correct uh, class type. Alright, so once we've got that, that's pretty much all we need from this class right now. So I'll go ahead and save it. And we'll jump over to the weapon component. And here I've just gone to the event graph and collapsed everything in these two comment bubbles into a function called fire. This just makes it easier to show how to set up the ability system. Um, everything that you saw in the graph originally is is just contained in here. So you have the playing the sound, spawning projectile, um, and playing the animation. Um, yeah, and so now we'll go ahead and create a an ability. So I've just created a abilities folder under the base content directory and make sure that when you create a new blueprint for the gameplay ability you're making sure the base class is the gameplay ability which can be found down here um, I've already got it so I'm just going to cancel this and then open up the implementation for my gameplay ability so here we have the two you, you should have two pins here, um, but I've just gone ahead and disabled the uh, end, end ability one. And then I'm just grabbing the component for the weapon component on the player. I'm checking its validity, and then if it's not valid, I'll just go ahead and cancel it. If it is valid, the meat and potatoes of my ability is that I just loop through the shots to fire variable that I've defined here. And then I'm going to call fire each time that it runs once it's all done. Um, then the end ability is called. Um, and you could always just change the, the number of shots to fire. Um, there's not really a great way to change the actual shots to fire um, outside of this for now. Um, I, at least I don't know a way um, on instances to do that. Um, so yeah, if we go back to the um, pick up rifle blueprint that's included in the first person template um, we need to be able to give the player access to the abilities so uh, I'm just grabbing the uh, first person character I'm grabbing the ability system component and checking the validity again if the component is valid then I'll go ahead and give the ability to the player and making sure that I'm selecting the ability that I've created that will give me a uh, handle to the ability which I add to the abilities array that I created before and then I destroy the actor just like I would um, if it's not a valid component so I'll save that and then I go ahead and um, I think yeah here okay so back in the character then I um, need to bind to some event so here I'm just checking the like one key was pressed, um, so I pull off the released, and then I'll play or do the try activate ability, um, which takes an ability handle, and then your ability system component, and this will run the uh, ability. So you can see here I pick up the the gun, and then I fire and multiple shots come out. So this is kind of just a, a really basic setup. There's definitely some shortcomings of not using the C++ approach, but I think this is kind of a nice way if you don't have to change a lot of um, like stuff at runtime, 
that it kind of gives you a, a good starting point. So hopefully that helps and good luck on your project out there.